let's take a look at how to get around some common frustrations you might have with Photoshop. To start off with, let's say you work with layer styles. Layer styles is where you can have, in this case, an inner shadow to add a highlight to the edge of some text, or you have a drop shadow that you have below your text or anything else. And you decide you wanna scale the layer to a different size. So you can come up here to the edit menu, choose free transform, I click to scale it down. And first off, I don't wanna squish it like this. If you don't wanna squish it, then just type Command Z to undo and up here in your options bar, click on this little link symbol. That link symbol means if I scale the width, scale the height in equal amount. And therefore I can scale this down just like I want. Also, if you hold down the shift key, it's the equivalent to changing this to the opposite of whatever your default is. So if you have that turned on and you actually do wanna squish it in one direction, just hold shift and you'll get the opposite behavior. But that's not what bugs me. If I scale down anything that has a layer style, when I press return or enter, look at what happened. Look at the actual style itself. If I choose undo, sure, this was just the right amount for this large text, but once I was done scaling it down, it did not scale the layer style. So now that little highlight on the edge and the drop shadow is way too big for this. Well, let me choose undo and show you how to fix that. First, if you type Command T and you start to scale this down, before you press Return or Enter to indicate that you're done, pay attention up here in your options bar. And there, you're gonna see the width and height as a percentage. Just copy that number. Just select it and type Command C, Control C in Windows before pressing Return or Enter to tell it you're done. Then, over in your Layers panel, click on one of the layer styles just to make a single layer active. Then, come up here to the Layer menu and you're gonna find a choice called Layer Style and within this menu is another choice called Scale Effects. Effects is another name for those layer styles. Choose that and just choose Paste. That is Command V on a Mac, Control V in Windows. It will type in the same percentage, click OK. If this comes up, that's because you need to round your number off to an even number. You can't have point something. So click OK and just paste it in again. Look at the number and just round it off. So if I take off this 59%, I'm gonna say 27%. Close enough. I click OK and now it just scaled down that effect. If you have an effect on more than one layer, you'll have to repeat the process for the other layers. So I'm just gonna come in here once again, choose layer style, scale effects, and I think it was 27%, so I'll just type it in and click OK. Now I have both of those styles scaled down the same amount I scaled the text, and so the style looks appropriate for that size. I'll choose undo a few times because I want to show you an alternative to that. The alternative is if you scale the entire document, go to the image menu and choose image size. And in image size, if you just scale this down, sometimes the preview will be inaccurate. Watch, if I type in 800, it looks like it's gonna scale down the style. So it'd look just right. I'll click okay, but when I'm done, it didn't scale it down. So that was an inaccurate preview. Let's choose undo and go in there one more time and I'll show you how to fix it. When you're in image size, there's a semi-hidden feature. Then that is go to the upper right where you see a gear icon. Click on it and turn on the choice called scale styles. It acts as if that's turned on for the preview, regardless of what it's actually set to. Now, if I were to scale it down to 800 pixels and click okay, it would scale down that later style properly. Now let's say I wanna save this image. So I go to the file menu and I choose save as. I've used that choice for 25 years. Well, I choose save as and I wanna save this out as a JPEG. And it's simply not available in the menu. That's because Adobe made a change recently that forced you to choose a new command that's called save a copy. They were nice enough with revision to add a button called save a copy. And if you click on that, then you could get to all your file formats. What that has to do with, and the reason why you occasionally don't have your file formats when choosing Save As, is this image happened to start as a JPEG file before I added this logo to the file. And JPEG does not support layers. When you choose Save As to Photoshop, Save As means use a different file name or a different location, but it doesn't give you all the options you used to get. 
in older versions. Well, now you have save a copy, which I hate. I've been used to this for decades. So if you want to get back to the old behavior, go to your preferences in Photoshop, choose file handling. And in here, you're going to find a choice called enable legacy. When you turn it on, this comes up. And yeah, okay, I've been using Photoshop for 25 years. Don't show again, click OK. Now, Save As will work the way it used to work. Since we're in our preferences, let me show you a few other preferences that I always change. I'm gonna go over here to my tools, and I'm gonna turn off Show Rich Tool Tips. Those are the massive tool tips when you hover over a tool and you see pictures and all sorts of movement and everything, I can't stand them, so I turn that off. Another thing that I turn off is up here under workspace, and that is the choice of large tabs. And mine's already turned off, but I'll turn it on. Look at how big the tabs are up here that represent my documents and my panels. Well, the reason for large tabs is if you work on a tablet where you might be using your finger or a pen to click on things. If you're using a mouse or a trackpad, turn it off. And now all your panels and your document tabs will take up less space. Finally, join me for the Photoshop Virtual Summit. This is a free event, May 2nd through the 6th, where I'll be teaching two lessons. So please get your free admission by clicking on the link in the description below. I'm Ben Wilmore, and I'll see you next time.